Hello everybody, welcome back to the world of me. My name's Cougar and this is another episode from our Amazon review series. And uh, this was another requested episode. We did get another box in from uh, one of the companies we've worked with before, uh, and that is TWAD. Uh, now, as you can see, this is a laser scope or uh, a laser sight, whichever way you want to put it. Uh, now, with this one, as you can see, we open it up. We've got a um, little bit of instructions there. gives you kind of a breakdown. It shows you some of the different styles in the way that it can be um, kind of put together or used because this one does have uh, kind of multiple ways that it can be handled. Uh, let's see, we'll go ahead and pull out a handful of parts here. As you can see, the laser here is roughly about, mm, I would say that, yeah, it's roughly about uh, four and a half, five inches long uh, in terms of the laser. Uh, it comes with a couple of different mounting options. We've got uh, an option for, oops, the uh, this is an option for using on a rail system of some type and uh, of course you can take and uh, just slide that in there and then mount it onto your rail uh, and then as well you can also put it on uh, on the barrel or tube uh, of a gun for example if you have a uh, say a shotgun you have a, a tactical setup for a shotgun which is actually what I'm going to be using this for uh, you can uh, put it on there, you can put it on the, uh, say, the lower tube, uh, and uh, it'll, uh, of course, mount there. You would put your uh, laser in here, and uh, then you also have a couple little pieces here where you can uh, mount some additional things, like if you wanted to mount a, uh, a flashlight or something like that, you've got this little uh, pick-type uh, mounting rail system there on uh, basically either side there. Now this would fit on a 12 gauge shotgun. Uh, you do have to watch for the size of that, which I believe that means this is a, um, I think this is a one inch diameter. Uh, so keep that in mind when uh, you're looking at this, if you consider purchasing it, uh, you do want to make sure that uh, the tube that you're trying to mount it to, if you're going to be mounting it that way, uh, is the right size. Uh, so there you go. And then uh, it comes with the battery. It does have the push button feature here uh, so that you can just push it on and off. As well, we also have the uh, quick press uh, or, the, or the finger press button there that you can put on your foregrip. Uh, let's go ahead and pop that in. Now, if I remember correctly, I do believe this is a green laser. So it is the, uh, the very bright kind. Uh, click that on, there we go, the green laser there. Uh, now the way this works, it looks like, with the thumb piece is, there you go, the button itself is kind of separate and you've got basically the nut. So it looks like you slide that through there. All right, and then of course you've got the little uh, button here. Uh, you take this and mount it somewhere on maybe your foregrip uh, or wherever you're most comfortable with it. Uh, and uh, then when you're ready to kind of acquire your target, you just uh, give it a little press with the finger. Uh, if it's on the grip, you just kind of push and there you go. So it's an instant on and an instant off. So it's not constantly on. Uh, which may be something that you'd have to worry about in terms of like giving away your your uh, your location or something like that. If you're in some kind of a tactical situation, uh, you can of course do an instant on and an instant off, and it works well that way. Uh, now it does of course come with the wrench, so you can of course attach uh, these with the wrench, and then it also has this uh, little piece of Velcro. And uh, as you can see, the Velcro is roughly the same size as the button there. So you can take and put one piece of the Velcro on the button, and then you can take the other piece of Velcro and put it on the, uh, the grip or wherever you decide to mount this part to. And it can be taken off. Uh, you can just unzip it, pull this off, switch it out for the uh, push button if you like, 
and then of course if you uh, want to once you mount it you can of course do your adjustments depending on which way you turn it if you have it mounted on the right hand side for example this of course is going to be your elevation and this one will be your windage if you have it mounted on the left hand side you're going to have this one be your elevation and this one be your windage so it does just depend on which way you have it mounted uh, as to which one's going to be which obviously these are just the uh, the little caps here and uh, then you just turn the little thing here well, you can use the wrench here to adjust your elevation and it does go by ticks so uh, it, you can feel it tick as you turn it and so your wrench there it's not only good for mounting it but it's also good for changing and adjusting your elevations and everything uh, now the weight of this uh, if you are uh, do want to know if you're trying to keep that kind of stuff in mind uh, now they don't give you the weight they give you the mass but it's 144 grams so whatever that would normally be uh, kind of changing out to or, adjust, or, or kind of converting to uh, it does say the range on this laser is roughly 300 meters uh, so definitely something for a good to almost long range kind of shot like a mid to almost long range obviously it would work for anything from short to uh, f to that range I mean if you're just across the room from somebody uh, this of course will will work uh, well in that aspect as well something else glancing at this I mean it does have some of the other specs the one thing um, I would like to see but uh, I didn't would be it would be nice to know how far these ticks are uh, so if you're aiming at say a hundred yards how far is this going to move is it going to move a quarter of an inch per tick is it going to move uh, an eighth of an inch it's going to move half of an inch um, depending on obviously the distance uh, so that would be something that would be nice to know but of course when you go to set this up I would of course suggest uh, putting this on some type of uh, steady rest mount and uh, adjusting it that way making sure that it stays in position you uh, take your shot and see where it shoots uh, according to where it's pointed make your adjustments and I mean just like sighting anything else in you adjust here and there it would be nice to know specifically but after a shot or two you're going to be able to probably figure it out pretty easily uh, but yeah this is uh pretty nice i like this setup definitely going to be putting it on my uh my tactical uh setup and uh, it'll be a nice addition uh to uh to my equipment at least uh, but uh, if you guys want to add it to your equipment, you can, of course, go down there in the description below. We've got a link for this on the Amazon site, as well as while you're down there, we do have our social media links. And uh, on your way down or on your way back up, don't forget to hit that thumbs up button. And, uh, of course, we have those little icons floating around in the corner. Or uh, you can hit that uh, little button down below. It's that subscribe button if you haven't done so already. And there is that bell icon down there. Don't forget to ring that bell and get notified of when we've got new videos coming out here on World of Me. Well, my name's Cougar. This is the World of Me and another episode from our Amazon review series. I would like to wish you guys all a good day and I will see you later. Bye.